the next feature what i have to discuss extensible remember what is the meaning of extensible you can extend you can extend functionality of python application with the some other language applications what it means is sir some c program is there some java program is there can i use that in my python application or not yes no problem at all we can use other language programs in our python sir what is the need very very simple sir i want to develop a python application assume that this is the python python application i want to develop sir this is my requirement in the some x y z functionality required sir some functionality is required but anyway there is a some java code is there for this functionality java code is already there for x y z functionality okay so it is a non python code is it possible to use this non python code inside our python yes no problem at all so this uh, we can use other language code in our python yes happily it is acceptable remember that so what is the advantage of this one sir the biggest advantage here is we can use we can use uh, legacy we can use legacy non python code non python code in our python application so development time we can reduce already existing things we can use okay one area second area sir performance assume that assume that there is one area is there here performance is the very important sir assume that some x some x x x like some area is there where performance is the very critical assume that this uh, wherever performance is the critical sorry python is not that much that much good performance wise what i have to do yes i will i will develop that that functionality by using c sir c c code i will write c code and i can start using that c code in my python are you getting that i can write c code so that the biggest advantage of this approach is performance of the application overall performance of the application of the application will be improved sir overall performance of the application will be improved remember that i hope everyone in the position to understand right so the main important point we can use other language applications in our python code what advantages are there legacy already existing non python code happily we can use second thing is so performance gaps are there those performance gaps also happily we can we can we can able to fill with other language code clear for all of it what is the meaning of extensible okay like next the uh, embedded next up feature i have to discuss right sir 10th one embedded embedded sir okay embedded what is the meaning of embedded embedded same thing extensible in reverse means uh, we can use a python code in any other language applications right sir i have java application is there okay for a particular task python i want to use sir so python code python code to can work with the java application jaitan 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 version of python we require to use jaitan we require to use so python code inside java application happily we can use happily it can use right similarly i want to develop one c sharp dot net application c sharp dot net application in the can i use python or not happily we can use python means uh, we can embed our python script in any other language application clear for all of it right? what is the meaning of embedded what is the advantage of this is so the scope of the scope of this python code is going to be improved sir so you can use this python code in c sharp dot net 
in java in c language so everywhere you can use this python code means the worthy of this python code is going to be improved the scope the scope of our application is going to be raised like anything so our application will become what scalable clear for all of you right so what is the meaning of extensible means in our python application you can use other language code what is the meaning of embedded we can use python code in any other languages also embedded extensible so together our python with the other languages together can do wonderful things any doubt sir the next feature what i have to discuss related to python extensive library extensive library observe very carefully sir in python for every requirement ready made library is available sir for every requirement ready made library lakhs of libraries are there in python no other programming language has this much library support do you know so that's why some people may use python has batteries battery batteries each battery itself is nothing but library huge library support is there being programmer we can use these libraries directly we are not required to implement functionality right okay so because of this rich library we can write python code very easily with the concise code remember this one sir so python has sir libraries python has batteries a rich library support is available for the python okay well sir now if you want just a small chota example i want to tell do you know otp otp one time password bank application bank transactions if you want to do otp must be required okay well sir write a python program to generate six digit otp is my requirement right okay write a program write a program to generate to generate six digit to generate six digit six digit otp this is my requirement right do you know if i can ask a c programmer if i can ask a java programmer boss he may take minimum 10 minutes time are getting a big code is going to write but if you can ask python programmer just a matter of one minute is more enough are getting one minute is more enough two or three lines of the code is more enough how sir how we can do that because to generate random numbers already one battery is available already one li library is available that library is called random library are you getting right what is this library sir random library this library contain rand int function rand int function so if you provide 0 comma 9 it is the responsible to generate a random number from 0 to 9 automatically it will generate some random number we can't guess which random number we are going to get sir so import this library call this function automatically a random digit we are going to get but uh, our requirement is six digit otp right call this function six times call this function six times automatically six digit otp is going to come are you getting right do you want me to show here observe carefully right what i'm trying to take is just i want to write a small python program okay from random so random is python inbuilt module sir random is the python inbuilt module from random import import rand int are you getting rand int can you please import sir print print rand int rand int of 0 comma 9 sir rand int of 0 comma 9 sir in between 0 to 9 can you please print some random int value let me run this code have a look once up to this what we are going to get so it's a very very simple sir now here do you know now this time i'm getting five five sir let me run again this time three let me run again four let me run again zero let me run again seven let me run again one sir are you getting are you seeing right so random int value we are getting but sir how many digits are required can you please spell out how many digits six digits are required so what i have to take you have to call this function six times next uh, one biggest speciality for the python print statement is 
you can pass uh, any number of arguments you can pass any number of arguments that's why so just uh, if you print like a space b space c space d space e space f like this it's going to print the corresponding a b c d value so you can pass six times the same for the print argument line sir what is the way okay so rand int uh, this is the function just uh, with comma separation take six times uh, second time comma third time comma fourth time comma fifth time comma sixth time that's all sir comma sixth time so total how many times i considered sir six times i considered now you are six digit random otp is ready are you getting six 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 zero two don't feel sir this one is always going to generate six sir. no guarantee now if you observe eight one three four zero five if you observe four double five two nine four if you observe three zero nine eight four one okay six three six zero one three five six zero eight okay like uh, it's going to generate from zero to nine some random number okay like six digit random number then immediately you ask sir i don't want space i don't want space in the middle sir so can you please remove the space just one small argument i have to take what is that argument is so a comma b comma c comma d a space b space and so on comma last uh, s e p is equal to empty are i don't want any separator separator like i have to pass s e p is equal to empty of course we will discuss in detail don't worry sir have a look once s e p s e p is equal to at last comma s e p is equal to empty separator is equal to empty empty means no space no space in the middle have you observed 503 157 next 73 8857 104 like this have you observed right like it's going to come sir this is the way how to print how to generate a random six digit random number how many lines of the code is required <laughs> how many lines of the code is required two lines if you can ask a java person c language person oh they are going to write this much lengthy code remember that so that is the biggest advantage of python concise code suppose sir i don't want one otp i want to 10 otps i want to 10 otp just use a small for loop have a look once how easy to use for loop so for i in range of 10 sir for i in range of 10 that's all for i in range of 10 10 sir print uh, so means uh, this for loop is going to execute 10 times 10 otps will be generated have a look once yes friend 10 otps are generated no two otps are the same can you please observe that okay now let me execute again let me execute again let me execute again this is that much is simple so even big big lengthy requirements also complex requirements also because of library support we can write very easily with the python batteries python libraries clear for all of you right these are various important features related to python